Look, kitty. Kitty. Hi. Say hi. Look at oh, them. Say hi. Hi. I'm mad at my humans because they boarded me for three days. Yeah, you all went off, had yourself a nice little vacation, and you left. You, you left the the miracle in the kitty the kitty boarding place. We put her in what we thought was a very nice cat hotel. And I think if you have a healthy cat, it probably is. But we have a little special needs baby and they did not take very good care of her ears. So her ears are all gunky now. Yeah, but OK, but here's here's the best thing about what you did there, though. Um, it was Fourth of July weekend, which means fireworks were going off everywhere and all the pets were losing their minds, except because yeah. Miracle's deaf. She's just like. Because she can't fine. hear shit. She slept right through it, probably. I'm, I don't know what y'all's fuck that pissed off about. I'm fine. What's the matter with all you bitches? Go to sleep. And everybody's looking at Miracle like, she's hardcore. She's so fucking hardcore. Holy shit. Uh, feed me. <laughs> you guys can eat that food? Because I'll eat that. But you can't because you're allergic to their food. <laughs> all right. You want Here, sit on your tower and be cute on the internet for me okay no you can't <laughs> like, fuck the internet i want to sit in your lap i'll do what i want the hell I with you do what i want sit sit, up here for now. sit in the tower you on the internet for a few minutes for me okay okay your nice comfy kitty tower no we're not gonna do it all right you win <laughs> <laughs> oh well Okay, you win. Uh, so, um, we have the usual. We've got some stuff. This I'm going to go ahead and warn people. There's a story near the end. Don't eat. If you're just starting, if you're watching the recorded version and you just started eating, pause. I mean, if you're eating back. during the show to begin with. It's probably, yeah, it's, it's not a good idea. Yeah, I mean, you should learn. But if, if, if you, you're eating during the show, if you're really easily offended this is not this is not the show this is not the show for you go down the internet to nerdist and you know have a nice time but yeah i, I am gonna and if you're watching this live put the food down put put the food down and you know i'll even give you another warning if you want to mute through the segment when we get to that part i won't blame you i totally will not blame you but of course, we have other stuff as well. Let's let let's let's get this shit started. <laughs> each week, she's no no. Each week, Catherine, radio dead air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And we're gonna start off with a story. I don't think we're gonna spend a whole lot of time on this. One. We're gonna start off with a story. Now, this one is I'm doing this for a reason. This is one where someone died. And I'm doing this in regards to 4th of July and it's just passed. Consider this kind of a public service announcement a little bit because it, it, it's, it's, there's not a whole lot funny here, but this is just one of those, what, what were you doing? And maybe an object example to other people, do not fucking do this. This was kind of everywhere. Man shoots firework off the <gasps> top of his head dies instantly. Oh my God. Yeah. Guys, seriously. And, and not only he was a 22 year old man who was drinking and celebrating the 4th of July, tried to launch a firework from the top of his head, killing him instantly. It was one of those mortars, you know, the mortar fireworks where it's like a ball. I know dick about fireworks. Okay, it's like a World War II mortar where they give you like this cardboard tube and it's this this ball, it looks like a bomb, and you light it, you drop it in the mortar and it shoots out. He put the tube on his head, dropped the mortar down there and boom, guys. It's at least to civilians. Oh yeah. Yeah, I had some in my, this is why I couldn't get any fucking, did you hear I could not get any fucking sleep this I weekend? Did. I did. I didn't really, I didn't hear many fireworks where we were down in Virginia. Um, but this, this is what, okay, guys, these are explosives. I'm a little confused why we still sell these things to civilians in like a fucking tent on the side of the road, like. Yeah, and, and, and drinking on top of it. Yeah. 
Drinking and explosives, no good can come. Look, I like fireworks. I know tons of my friends who like fireworks. But this is one of those things, you gotta be fucking careful with this shit. There's, there's a safety video they put out every year, the government does, about um, fireworks that shows you how things can go horribly, horribly wrong. I saw one this year that had a mannequin, not even in a closed fist, open fist with one of those cherry bomb style. Yeah. Entire hand was gone from here. Just boom. Expl be careful. Okay, please. Yeah. Do not do this. Do, don't do this. Don't do this. Okay. It's, it's, do not, be, be careful, be, take your safety and the safety of others into consideration. Don't do this shit, because this is just awful. <sighs> now, let, let's move on to something that, again, this, no one has been killed yet. Not for lack of fucking trying. This is one of those preventable stupidity things that we really need to fucking talk about. White people. Is that is that the topic? Yes. <laughs> Prevent it is white people. <laughs> no, but that's gonna be tough. Um, do you have an iPhone? Well, I don't entirely disagree. It's gonna be tough to just prevent white people. Do you have an iPhone case? Yeah, it's kind of crummy. I need a new one. It's broken. But yeah, but you know, it, it, it's it's there to protect your phone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even Google came out with these neat new cases for their Nexus phones that uh, that have like one of those near field chips in them that can read from the app that's built into the, the Nexus phone and do neat stuff based on, the, and, and change the, light up the, the case and stuff. It's really kind of cool. Those are good uses of iPhone cases. This is bad. Dan was just telling me about this. Could this be... Like an iPhone thing. Nice. Could this be this. the worst iPhone case ever invented? In an attempt to stupid shit. In an attempt to teach that guns are not toys, one iPhone case is setting the cause back considerably. Recently, spokesman for Ocean County's prosecutor aspects uh, office in New Jersey, Della Fave, posted a photo of herself carrying an iPhone gun case in her back pocket, proving that accessory could easily be mistaken as a dangerous weapon. Particularly in tense situations involving police officers, reaching into one's pocket can already be perceived as a threatening action. And yeah. Drawing a phone that closely resembles, resolve, resembles a firearm seems like a recipe for disaster. Look at this fucking thing. I it it it, it look it, look at look at it. There's a picture of it in someone's back pocket. That's you really dumb. This is, there's a whole list, I think you can find them on the, online, there's a whole list of products that black people can't own. Not because they're not permitted to or anything, because if they do, someone's going to shoot them. Yeah. This is going right to the top of the list. This is going to the top. They also made a gun dog leash. Have you seen that one? No. It, it's a dog lead, one of those retractable dog leads that's shaped like a, like a nine millimeter. We are way too into guns in this country. And even, oh, to make it even worse, the the case allows you to download an app that makes your iPhone screen look like the barrel of the gun. Oh, good. This is... Cops is... Ugh. Asking to get shot. Cops in America are already way too fucking trigger happy. We, we've seen this shit. This is, this is pretty much giving, it's like, give me an excuse. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not tempting fate. That's walking up to fate and being like, what are you, a pussy? Clam Bake, the jaywalker says, I want an iPhone for Christmas. You shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> and then B9 Bomber says, whoa, there really is an app for that. Yeah, I, I just... This, and not only that, how is this in any way practical? For, you know, the more, I see more and more iPhones that are not, like there's ones that look like Chanel number no. five bottles and they have the big jewel on the top. Yeah. And like, 
they're all bedazzled. And I'm like, how do you carry that around? Like that seems so inconvenient. How do you use it as a phone? Yeah, like I look at some, they have cases that look like giant Starbucks cups, like pretty much any Pokemon. But I'm like, how do you fucking carry that thing around? Like you can't put it in your pocket. And, and in this case, this if you pull it, if you pull it out, you have to do this to talk on it. You have to hold it up the side of your head. Now look, see how I'm sitting right here? Now if I turn this way, yeah. all you see is the handle of a gun being held up to someone. This should not be a consumer product. No. I mean, you know, I'm not saying there ought to be a law against it because it's America and you can make stupid shit if you want to. That's why we have truck nuts. But you'd like to think that people would be smart enough not to make it and then not to buy it. And yet. Uh, is that someone, as Ash asked, is there a penis case yet? Yeah, probably. There, I mean, there's got to be. There's, there's, they've made the attachment now. They've, can, made, they've made the fleshlight iPad case. You can fuck your iPad. So you can play the porn and fuck your iPad. Yeah. Speaking of ill thought out ways to make money um you know you remember back in the it, our larp group the camp um back in the old days sometimes we used to have uh dunk tanks remember those yeah at where you could you know we'd get like the higher ups in the club the the people who handled national shit we put them on there and for charity you could you know throw a ball at it dunk them in the water those are fun however you know what what wouldn't be have been fun Getting dunked in acid? Paying to tase them! Oh my god. Fundraiser lets residents fire taser at city official. Van Meter, Iowa. For $5, residents in Van Meter are getting the chance to use a police taser on a city official. The Des Moines Register reports City Hall is selling raffle tickets as part of a public safety fundraiser. Wait. Stop. Stop. It's a public safety fundraiser. Public safety to do something that is really not fucking safe. I mean, these guys got to know about this, right? The winner will get the opportunity to use taser on city administrator Jake Anderson or Councilman Bob Lacey. Van Meter Fire Association street dance on July 18. Officials say a police officer will assist using the taser and the proceeds will go helping the police department purchase a second squad car, add speed radar, and potentially expand its six-member part-time reserve force. This is, this is the kind of town where they need to fundraise for a second squad car. So... And the way the police department decides to fundraise is by firing a weapon at a city official. It's a taser, like 10,000 volts of electricity, right? Those, yeah, those are not toys. Those They're are really painful. Yeah, th that shit is not a fuck. It, it's not, everyone's all like, it's not, it's a non-lethal takedown. Like, yeah, but just because it's non-lethal doesn't mean it's. Yeah, doesn't mean you should do it. Like, shoot the city official with a barrage of Nerf darts. With pelt the city official with a whole bucket of water balloons. Maybe a paintball gun, maybe. And even that kind of stings, but still. Yeah. There are things you can do. A taser can that don't send the message that tasing is fun and Tasers can potentially have long-term serious side effects like nerve damage or heart attack. I mean, it's low-grade electrocution. Yes! Like, you are being electrocuted. <laughs> and I speak from someone. I was working on my tube amp a week, couple weeks ago. I electrocuted myself. It's not good. I electrocuted myself on a sun lamp when I was a kid. It's not good. I, like, temporarily burned off some, like, my fingerprints because I had my hands on it. And you know, I don't, I, you, you, you think, everyone's all hardcore to like, oh yeah, I could, I could totally handle that. To but you can't. Do you remember Rick Sanchez? 
blowhard faux journalist who used to be on CNN during the day. Yeah, didn't they tase him or, or shot collar him or something on live he TV? He got tasered for a story. And like John Stewart on The Daily Show used to love for as long as Rick Sanchez was on CNN, he would constantly show the video because dude could do for like two seconds before he was like, all right, I'm tapping out. And he really thought it would be no big deal. It's not a it's not a joke. But, you know, cops, they, cops, they needs they needs cars and a radar gun. So which they should have a second car and a radar gun. Those things are important. And I hope that they get them. But there are, there are different ways to raise that money. That, and the, what kind of message is this sending? You know, hey, we're your police department. We're going to make money through violence. I mean, I guess if you're willing to do it to people, you should know what it feels like. Because, mm. like, D Dan tells me horror stories. He was in the army in a chemical weapons group. And, like, they had to experience all the chemical weapons. Like, you know, not the really horrible shit. But, but like, enough to know what the fuck was going on when the shit would happen. Yeah, here's what poison gas feels like, which is horrible, and I don't know why you would do that to people, but, you know, if you're going to use it on people... Yeah, Mabufu says in the channel, save the fire department, set our chief on fire for $5. Yeah. You know, what the fuck? Rick Sanchez was Don Lemon before Don Lemon was Don Lemon, <sighs> casual Rob. That is a perfect way to put it. He was the Latino Don Lemon. <sighs> Before Don Lemon was Don Lemon. Uh, Time Lord Soundwave. Don't fundraise me, bro. Yeah, this is a bad idea for a fundraiser. Don't do that. Uh, let's move on to Austria. Okay. Speak no bad ideas ever came out of there. <laughs> this is one of those. Okay. Did you ever do dissection in high school biology? Yes. I dissected an earthworm. Mm -hmm. a frog, and a sheep's eyeball. Mm. And we had a really unpopular Spanish teacher, and parts of the dissected animals always wound up finding their way into her desk. Parts of the sheep's eyeball made it into her coffee. I didn't do any of this. Someone kept the whole dissected frog and spread the parts out all over her desk, <laughs> including some pieces in the drawers that she didn't find right away. <laughs> Like, dissection time in biology was was not a fun time for this poor woman. God, that's awful. Yeah, really bad things were done to her. I never did any of that. I was a good kid. But, yeah, she drank <laughs> all, like, the, the part of the sheep eye they put in sunk. So she drank all the way to the bottom of the coffee before she found it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Well, the, the, the point I was going to make here is all of those animals were dead, long dead, before they ever made your class, correct? Yes. Yeah, well, apparently this biology teacher had a different idea. Austrian teacher receives warning after killing rabbits in front of class. <gasps> Horn Austria. An Austrian school teacher received heavy criticism from students and parents after killing two rabbits in front of his class as part of a biology lesson this week. After killing the rabbits, he proceeded to dissect them. According to reports, the middle school teacher breeds rabbits during his free time and brought the animals to work. On Monday, he reportedly killed one of the animals with a captive bolt stun gun and repeated the lesson in front of a different class the next day. And this, this is the one that just broke my heart. When other students heard about the gruesome le lecture, they reportedly offered to buy the animal from the teacher in an effort to save its life he is said to have refused the officer because he planned to eat the animal's meat for dinner. Poor Flopsy and Mopsy. This is some watership down shit. We did have, our bio teacher had a tank of, I don't think they were piranhas, but they were some kind of carnivorous fish. And he would feed them as part of the class. He would dump in a whole thing of smaller other live fish and you would watch those fish get torn the fuck apart. But that's like bunnies are cute. That Well, not just bunnies are cute. This is he actually instead of just I understand they breed these animals. I know there's there, people will be like morally like, well, they kill the animals anyway. Yeah, but there's a difference between having those freeze-dried packaged ones brought into a class, understand yeah. they were already killed, and having the rabbit there in the class 
and killing it right in front of all the kids. Yeah. Couldn't I mean, you? I can't really be moral about it. I, I eat meat. I love cheeseburgers, you know, but, but man, way to traumatize those kids. Couldn't he have done, I mean, really, if he was going to do this, couldn't he have done that shit when the kids weren't there? Right. Like have the already dead rabbit waiting for them. Like they don't have to witness the murder. Yeah. I mean, you, you, Funny you, side. you didn't have, I mean, uh, that's, that's just taking it a step too. That's some sadistic, creepy shit. Yeah. Okay, children, today we are going to dissect the bunny, but first, the murder. That's just unnecessary. Motherfucking Christ. And he receives a warning. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Bill. Bill, we need to talk about your dissection lesson, Bill. We're, go we're worried we might get some complaints. I don't know what kind of accent that is. Years later, I know this guy is going to be in, like, some sort of institution. Have the bunny stop screaming, Clarice. <laughs> bunny, have you ever heard bunny scream? Oh, God, it's horrifying. That is a sound straight out of the pit of hell. Ah. Uh. Like, bunnies under trauma? That's a horrible fucking sound. So, yeah, those kids, lots of therapy. We have yet another in our long list of shit that keeps happening. Why does this keep happening? We keep telling you, oh God, why does this keep happening? Fuck's sake. One more time. Practical joke ends with man stuck in chimney. Phoenix. 23-year-old man who got stuck in a chimney is recovering after firefighters used drill and a sledgehammer to free him. Two of the men's friends said they had locked him out of the house as a practical joke just before 3 a.m. on Sunday. Dicks. <laughs> what happened next was no laughing matter for the victim of the trick. The man decided the only way he was going to get back into the home was by going down the chimney. Does your home not have windows? Seriously! I like, mean, I know, replacing a window is costly. Dying in a chimney? It's, it's not, a, it's, it's not a, Santa's not real! Hey. Oh shit, did I just? the kitty's deaf. <laughs> Whoops. I just realized what I said before I said that, and... Oh, Luckily, fuck. she didn't hear you. I'm going to have to put a disclaimer on this episode for like. You're going to have to fucking bleep that. For parents who watch. Mm -hmm. Horrifyingly to me, we actually have some younger audience members. Go to bed. This isn't a person. <laughs> for parents who watch this show with their kids in the background, they're going to be like watching it. The kids can be like, what did the fuck man say, mommy? The more important thing is you are not Santa. No, you're not Santa. You are not Santa. You're not Santa. Oh, oh, really? You're just going to kick me now? Yes. She's like, I don't want to be on the internet. A feet, which I'm kicking her with. She does pointedly look away from the camera. <laughs> She's like, like, no, yeah. fuck you. Fuck your camera. Kick me with my feet. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's the goal? What's the goal here? To be a Should difficult little shit. To show them your butt? Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. I've, you've shown the internet your butt. You're giving the whole internet the butt. Good job. Yeah. Good job. You're giving them all the butt. It's, well done. It's how does this, and this has been happening on the news enough times that you think people would, you're not the exception. Yeah. You're not like, you know what? I think I can get down my chimney. No, you can't. It's not designed Chimneys are designed to release and uh, to allow the entry of one thing. Did I say chimbley? They're saying Ch I said chimbley. chimbley. Maybe. Chim okay. Chimneys are allowed to to uh, to, re to allow the passage of one thing. Gases. Are you a gas? <laughs> they get the fuck out of the chimney. <laughs> okay. Well, you can't. Dig your claws into my shirt and then ask to be put down. Those are mutually exclusive. 
Yeah, She's no. She's being difficult today. Oh. You are not Santa. You, like, maybe you play Santa on Christmas morning, but that doesn't mean you are Santa. No. You're a dumb one, Mr. Grinch. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was Drunk Higgins. Yeah, that was a good one. Um... Okay, we've come to it. I'm going to say it again. If you're watching live and you're kind of grossed out by stuff, you might want to mute for this next bit. Just even seeing even seeing the, the headline for this one might make you a little... Um, so no. th this is one of those... <sighs> Wait for it. This, kind of, this is kind of one of like the talking heads. My God, how did I get here? kind of stories. Everybody, prepare thyself. You have been warned. I've tried my best to give you fair warning on this one. Here we go. Man evicted from shared flat after cooking and eating poo-filled pastry. What? A tenant has been evicted from a charity-run flat after cooking and then eating a pastry, a pasty, which is, you know, it's kind of like a, a hot pocket kind of thing, yeah. filled with excrement. The man, who's not been named, was living at a shared accommodation run by Christian Charity Chapter 1 in Re Weston Super Mare when the uh, incident happened. It was brought to the attention of the charity by another resident who discovered the pasty in the oven after checking for the source of a, quote, awful smell in the kitchen. Folks... Brace myself. The woman told the Weston Mercury newspaper she was sick after the incident, in which the man referred to the pasties filling as his, quote, magic sauce. So he knew? Like, it's not like he cooked it as a prank and gave it to some unsuspecting person. He cooked this for himself and ate it Fully cognizant of the fact that it was poop. His own poop. Well, do we know that? Is that yes. confirmed? Yes. It, it was his own poop. <laughs> like, dogs do that. We were at a pet store this weekend, and this really cute little long-haired dachshund, he's laughing because he's remembering, this really cute little long-haired dachshund puppy I was in love with until he started eating poop. And I was like, you were so cute until just now when you started eating poop. You're not a dog! Spokesman and said... I know, being homeless is hard, and your food options are limited, but... Spokesman said the man had breached his tenancy agreement with his actions, which also included drug taking. What drug?! Makes you think that poop is delicious because whichever one it is, tell us so we can never take it. Ever. Ever take it. Never. No. That's, that's not a fun drug. That is not a fun drug. Why would you, that is. When you say the words recreational drug use, I do not as associate the, the words eating poop with no. I. There's, I mean. Oh, yeah, Dodger. That, but otherwise, I don't consider that recreational at all. Dodger. Dodger says, I'll have a number two with fries. Hmm. Dodger. Sadtrombone.com. Oh, God. But r really, this is not. This is not a good drug. God, why would you do that? Okay, Sonya says shit-eating grin. Look, Taking it a little I'm literally. I really puns around here, and I'm very mad at you people right now. <laughs> I mean, mother... You flatter. Ah, uh, a poo-poo... Oh, God. Guys. Oh, this is oh. just horrific. That... that like... Now is it there? There can okay. Galileo says hot pockets are no longer being subtle. Maybe he's a test chef. Uh, so our last story. Can you even imagine that smell? Oh God! Like, can you even conceive cooking poop? They oh, had no. the story says they had to like scrub and disinfect and bring in people to just take care of that whole you kitchen. Orbit. 
It's the only way to be sure. <sighs> now you might think, Nat, you're, you're thinking to yourself, Nash, what could possibly be worse than a man who gets high and cooks and eats his own poop in a in, in a, a hot pocket, no less. Well, you want to know? Ladies and gentlemen, here are the world, the, the 2015 world champion worst parents ever. Wow, it's only July. Baby floats one kilometer out to sea, an inflatable toy, after sunbathing parents forget about her. Baby's fine. Baby's fine. Ten-month-old baby has been rescued after she was found floating nearly one kilometer out at sea in an inflatable toy. Um, Turkey's BGN News says the parents had forgotten they left her in the flotation device. They did not realize what happened to Melda until other sunbathers saw the child drifting out to sea. Other people at the beach tried to reach the infant, but the current was too strong, and they called the Coast Guard. Holy... Have, how old is this child? Ten months. If you have a less than year old child and you're at the beach and you don't hear your less than year old child or feel them poking you or whatever, you should be suspicious. If yeah. you have a toddler and you are not constantly aware of their presence, something has gone amiss. I forget who it was. I think it was Dennis Leary who talked about when his kids were quiet. That's when he got scared. Yeah. yeah. Like, when I lived with my nephew, I always knew some shit was wrong. <laughs> when, they, when he got when quiet. got real fucking quiet. <laughs> that's when you get scared. Yeah. Because that's when he's actually building Ultron in the basement or some shit. Like. Mother fucker. And also, there is no excuse. Like, even in a fucking pool, even in the fucking one foot deep kiddie pool there is no excuse to not be watching your child why that while they are in water in the fucking ocean okay drunk where there's no nice little boundary and there's nature drunk higgins says jaws oh you guys shouldn't have you should spill actually speaking about this jersey just had this problem not with sharks they're having this flood a fucking portuguese man of war is washing up giant fucking super toxic jellyfish yeah are just cruising through the ocean right now. There's all manner of horrible shit out there in the ocean. Don't, fucking sharks? Low. I the, don't go in the ocean, and there's a fucking reason. More people, fun fact, more people. There is no nature scarier than water nature. Odd fun fact, more people are killed in the U.S. each year by cows than they are by sharks. But regardless of, sharks aside, there's a lot of scary shit in the ocean. Yeah. Jellyfish. And the blue fucking octopus and sea urchins and all kinds of shit out there in the ocean. That's just the ocean's like a whole other planet. You on our planet that we don't understand and we don't really know what's all the way down there because we can't get to the bottom. Fucking Cthulhu could be real. <laughs> Have you seen some of the the shit they found at like the bottom of the ocean? There's yeah. there's that one fish I put Shit on. Shit just like, gets uglier and scarier as you go deeper. There's that one fish, the black fish is what it's called. I think it's called no, it's not the black fish, something like that. The fish I put on on Twitter a while back that can eat fish bigger than itself. It has this pouch stomach that it just sucks down and it like swells out with like this bigger fish. It's crazy shit down there. Tara seems generally paranoid about a lot of things. K kind of. Yeah. Mostly nature related. I don't like being in nature. I'm not cut out for it. But this is, how do you just put your kid in a floaty thing? And assume they're cool. Okay, you got your drink, got your juice box, got your floaties. We'll see you in 20. We got to catch some rays. All right, sweetie, you have fun. You know. Ah. Uh. Mother of God, no, you, you are, you are bad. 
You were very bad at pay you were you were failed pay the black swallower. That's what the thing's called. It sounds like a fucking porn thing, doesn't it? It does. No, it That sounds really porny. Look up the black swallower. Like, it's that sounds like the porn version of Black Widow from the Avengers. The black it's a fish about this big. It's not a big fish, but it can eat fish much larger than it. Its jaw unhinges and it just sort of and it, it, it Sometimes it can die when it eats too many fish and they don't decompose fast. They, 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 the gases inside it, they, it doesn't digest them fast enough. The gases make the fish rise to the surface because it got too greedy. That's a fucked up creature. Well, you know about the fish that can walk on land, right? Yeah. The chihuahuas that was not native to America, but people brought it over as a pet and then let it go. And now it's eating people's fucking dogs. I, I think I think the first thing we learned this week. Did nature kill Tara's family? No. But I was never a Girl Scout, I guess. Shit, and I, yes, I am also afraid of robots. So pretty much I would like to live in a hamster ball with my cat and a cheeseburger and be left alone. Shit, I, I was I was a Boy Scout and I don't like go out in fucking nature. It's shitty out there sometimes. Well, you know, I burst into flames if I'm in the sun for more than 10 minutes. Yeah, me too. I have, I'm hypoglycemic, so my blood is delicious to bugs and nature's scary. And you know what? I, all not scary. You can call me spoiled. You can call me, you know, just not in touch with, you know, the whole earth vibe thing. I like having a comfortable place to poop. Yeah. You know, people are always trying to sell camping to me. And I'm like, society evolved over centuries that we so that we would not have to sleep outdoors. Like we purposely created our domicile so that we could sleep indoors. I don't really feel a need to go back. No, I'm pretty comfortable with my indoor and my memory foam mattress and my climate control. And I know I'm a fucking press, but, you know, I guess the, the first thing we learned this week is nature's fucked up. Watch because kids. The spider did try to kill, take my leg. Yeah, so. right. Yeah. Nature's fucked up. Watch your damn kids. Yes. Watch your kids in the nature. Jesus this Christ. This is not Sparta. We've learned that drugs can be fun. Or they can make you eat your poop. Eat your own poop. Those aren't the fun drugs. Don't do those drugs. No. That, that that's not a good time. That's that's not, you know, I'm going to kick back, come home, take some drugs that make me eat my own poop. No, that's not a good weekend. Party's over when someone's eating their own poop. Yeah, that's that's that is the ultimate the party. Foul. Of the party. Yeah, that's it. We've learned you are not a gas. Stay out of the chimney. Yes. Again, we've learned this. Why do we have to keep telling you this? We're not the only ones doing this. News outlets across the fucking world are telling you, stay the fuck out of your chimney. Edgar Allan Poe tried. He did? He wrote a whole story about... Was it a... That wasn't a chimney. Oh. Yeah, it was the cask of Monte Aldo. No, I'm thinking of the black cat. The black cat? Oh. Because the guy buried his wife in the chimney, but he accidentally bricked the cat up there with her. <laughs> so he got caught because the cat was crying. Stay the fuck out the chimney. Which is why I love you. Because <laughs> you would protect me, or at least help them find my body. Uh, we. She's la I walked into the cat hotel today, and like I could tell when she found me because I heard. <laughs> like all the other kitties were like meow, meow. My cat meow. It's like where you been? I'm like, hi, deaf kitty with no volume control. I'm here to save you. Cat was like, three days. I was here three days. <laughs> Fucking days. There's this dude next to me. He wants to be friends. I don't like friends. Because there was this big cat named Alvin next to her. And they're like, yeah, he's a regular. He's a real sweetheart. And he's like rubbing on the cage like, hey. And she's like, fuck you. I don't need friends. We've learned that there are a lot of things you need to, keep to teach kids. The sound a rabbit makes as it dies probably isn't one of them. Not a sound your child needs to be familiar with. No. Jesus Christ. We've learned that fundraisers, you can use lots of different things for a fundraiser, but things that potentially can result in a goddamn heart attack, probably no. What's wrong yeah. with you? 
Especially the police department think this is a good idea. And not things that teach people that the police's tools are toys. Well, I think the police kind of think they're toys. That's kind of scary. Yeah, that's a whole new spin on the problem. And finally tonight, we've learned iPhone cases, functional, that's good. Decorative, that's good. But when you're taking it to looking like things that could potentially get you shot, not a good idea. What is wrong I with mean, you? Maybe that's just natural selection at work, man. Do you know I was watching CNN today just to go off on the 14th tangent of the night? And they were talking about the violence over the weekend in Chicago. And the anchor actually asked the woman on screen, you know, do you think there's actually a way we can ever solve this? Or do we just have to wait for these people to age and die? And the woman being interviewed was like, no, I think we can try some other things. <laughs> like, should we just wait for all the people in Chicago to die? And that will solve the violent violence problem what what bitch yeah that's that's how far cnn is falling is it bad that i want geraldo back 